Here's a really nice uh, all brass pump for pumping water. It uh, uses water, originally you used water on this end to pump water into buildings. That uh, They needed to pump water up high into buildings or houses, I guess. So I've changed the pistons over to brass pistons in here, two and a half inch diameter, with uh, high heat O-rings on them for steam. And I've added this really nice, nice swift oiler here. It's the tiniest one that they build. Seems appropriate for it. And I've got it running on just air, but it should run fine on steam as well. I'll turn on the air here. I did have to prime the incoming. The low one is the incoming here. And as you can see, it's got pretty good pressure. I don't know if it'll be enough to pump into a boiler. So we'll see. We can see how fast the water's going down there. It does move a lot of water. That knocking is not any big deal. That's the way they run. I've actually rebuilt two of these now. And there's a valve underneath here, right here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a little line pointing down. And that's to shut off uh, of the valve so it doesn't uh, leak off underneath it. Real nice, all brass. I've got some steel parts on here, but no big deal. And it's called Gould's water pump. So again, it, they brought water into this inlet here from city pressure and that operated the steam engine or the engine and then pumps water up into buildings high up at this end because the cities didn't have enough water pressure at the time. Some cities didn't. And it's about, what, 20 inches long. Somebody built a really nice wood box for it, which I guess I'd remove if I was going to mount it to a boiler. That's about it. If you're interested in this, my number is 206-948-0770. Uh, my name is Ross, and you can also find me at uh, my email address is anacortesteam. That's A-N-A-C-O-R-T-E-S. S T E A M at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.